legitimacy, perceived legitimacy. You've heard me use that term, and here we have another example of it from one of my detractors. I'm going to show you here in a bit. But for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, what I am talking about, people, for the most part, they seem to want the idea to spread that they actually have accomplished something. And there's these certain identifiers that exist out there that you must follow to be a part of the comic book industry to be legitimate. You remember that crack smoker that we had that debate with who said I wasn't part of that. I wasn't a professional writer and all that other stuff. And it's all, well, I'm not saying it go to this retailer, that retailer, like who cares? Over 60,000 books have sold. Who cares? The likes, the retweets, the headlines, and the articles by CBR and comicbook.com. I don't, y'all can have that. If it don't equal sales, or not, it's not helping me get sales, not interested. I don't care. I'm not bending over backwards to try to save retailers either. If they want the book, they can get it at a wholesale price. They can reach out to us like they did, would any other, other publisher. But we have our direct line of sight with our audience. So we can, and we're our own distributor. So we go directly to them. They come to us for the book. We give it to them. Okay. Y'all can have the perception that, oh, you're the big, big dogs because the, 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 the comic book shop has your, has your stuff. Congrats. Nobody's buying your stuff. So who cares? And even then it's like, you're selling to a distributor who's selling to a retailer. You ain't even selling the customers. Really? Your stuff can rot on the shelf and you still count it as a sale. But there's another one from one of these weirdos, man. And who had a lot to say. And if you guys don't remember, this is the, uh, what he call himself? The house husband, right? Who couldn't get enough of me. And he says, he finally muted me. This was uh, months ago, uh, like a month ago or so, where he's like for his own mental health. He had been in my, one of the reply guys in my mentions all the time, getting, getting destroyed. And again, this is something they brought upon themselves. Right? He, he thinks that he was doing something. What do he say? He says, I can't help but confront bullies and evil men on Twitter. Oh, man, and then everybody clapped. Leave the lady be, he said. He says, man, get out of here. Nobody talking about nothing. But it, it, here you go about some mental health stuff because these guys are addicted to me. And they are finally coming to terms with their demons that you guys are weird, man. I, I don't initiate conflict with y'all. I don't even know y'all like that. Y'all are weird. But yet you do come and initiate stuff, and initiate conflict with myself and the audience because, well, we, di we differ from you. That's fine. If that's where we're going to take it, I'll go there. But just understand that, well, I'm prepared for it. You not. You ain't built for that. But here's another funny one. Because this same guy comes back, and this is what he says. He's responding to one of, um, I guess, a follower of mine here, who's, uh, I guess, someone had already blocked me. I think that was a CBR writer that he's actually responding to who already blocked me. And he says, if three, maybe it was. No, 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 no. This was, uh, this is that that one guy that we had the debate with who lost again. Uh, it's funny how these guys all come on here, and he he and he got uh, embarrassed. It's that guy. That's that's who this is. And he says, if three point eight million dollars is a failure, then sign me up to fail. And this is what this guy says. And this was an old tweet, so he's he he. I guess he's unmuted me, and he's come back. He says. A pain is not fact either. Imaginary income. I don't know what that means. Pushed into a parallel economy with so without so much as an official press release is not a win more sus than Victoria. So he's still on the denial stage, the coping phase of how could a guy that I hate so much be so successful without going through the proper channels? Says uh, 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 so much as an official press release. The official press release if you want to call it that, was us releasing the trailer for Riververse on the 9th and then us releasing the actual trailer for ISOM on the 11th. That was the official press release. See, y'all got this. It's weird. We deal with this in the music industry where people have these, again, these identifiers. It's like, well, this is what the whole industry does, right? So they do this. They pay some guy, fake person to do their, I guess, uh, 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 press releases and send it out advanced copies all this stuff we send it out to the publications and they're gonna get us uh, an article and they're gonna talk about us and now we really made it now see who gives a shit man i don't care about that type of that stuff does not matter to me because it's archaic there used to maybe be value and stuff like that when you couldn't have a direct line of sight with your audience 
because there were so many middlemen that had to get in on the project before you could ever dare to produce it. Maybe that stuff made sense and it actually maybe had a net gain. But where once you had to go through and have a push out a press release, we once had to do that. You don't have to do that anymore. You can just say, I'll just post about it to my audience, to myself. I don't need them uh, to run it through them. If they cover it, awesome. There have been publications, some hit pieces, but some that were more objective that covered it. I didn't pay them. I didn't send them an advanced copy. I didn't send it. I wasn't sending out emails to them. No, they discovered it organically, which is more honest because what we have in so many of the entertainment is just artificial bull crap. Well, you got stuff is being pushed so much because really that's all like CBR and all those companies. That's all they turn into the promotional websites, man. They don't care about actually uh, uh, digging up and reporting on what's happening in comics. CBR don't care about that. They told you that with the Riververse stuff. Well, we had them flat out admitting they wouldn't cover the stuff. Despite this basically being the biggest story in independent comics. Anybody else. If I guess if I go through the proper channels and I had the right politics and some newcomer comes out on a brand new character, no investments, no external investments and, and, and comes in and sells over 60,000 comic books. You couldn't you wouldn't stop writing about me if I played that game. I would already have deals lined up with with uh, which I wouldn't. Again, that's if I was going through the establishment, that would be me getting broke, working with studios to produce some sort of ice um. TV show that would be on the horizon if I went that route. But because I say, screw y'all, I don't like the way you do it. I don't like your archaic model and y'all don't like me. Fine. I'm gonna do it my way. It's updated. Direct line of sight. I don't got to depend on retailers. I can just sell it to the, to my customers. Shout out to all the comic book shots that did buy. They made money. All of them sold out. So you want to get in, you get in where you fit in over here. But I ain't been over backwards because I'm not selling to you. I'm selling to the customers. That's our model. These weirdos keep coming up with new stuff and it's all, well, why haven't you done it the way that the other people do it? And this is why I say a lot of people in art and entertainment based industry industries they are economically illiterate because they like the optics of looking like they're doing something and if it leaves them broke so what whereas the, i'm the opposite y'all can have the opposites i want the money i want the customers i want the people that are going to give me their lend me their eyes and purchase the product that's all i care about and those are the only people i answer to the customers I don't answer to investors. I don't answer to retailers. I don't answer to distri uh, distributors. I answer to the customers and that's it. They will decide how far this goes. The way that is, it's funny. They act like this isn't based on marital. He can only sell because this, 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 and that. This is the most organic thing that exists because I didn't use the, the, the proper channels to, to make this a success. This was a success because the audience determined that it was. Who cares about your proper channels, bro? And they don't know what it looks like. So you still, despite us being much removed from ISOM 1 and its success, initial sales, they're still coping. They still don't want to believe it. How possibly? There has to be some funky going on. How possibly could he not have gone through us and have seen his success? Get used to it. I ain't the first one, and I certainly ain't going to be the last one. Hell, this ain't even going to be the last success for the Ripperverse, baby. We just getting started. Wherever you're viewing the content, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, you may be interested in my comic book company, Ripperverse Comics. Our first book and campaign, I Sum Number One, brought in $3.7 million with tens of thousands of satisfied customers. Visit Ripperverse.com to check out our store and stay up to date with the latest campaigns from one of the hottest new comic book companies. Also, my first big step towards a parallel economy was the development of my personal website, ericdjuly.com. This entirely replaced my Patreon. 
Now, if you enjoy this content, please consider becoming a member over at the website. We have an ever expanding list of perks for various membership tiers, a forum, and a phone app. Some of these perks will even benefit you if you're fans of the Ripperverse. Anyway, I appreciate you so much for being a supporter and or customer. I even got a little love for my haters.